and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to take a look at the second manual of the four manual series. In this manual we cover confidence intervals, all of the different types of hypothesis tests, and how to solve problems in those areas with Excel. Well, let's take a look at the table of contents. If you just click on a section, you're taken right to that section. And here's the confidence interval section. There are lots of problems and we walk you through every aspect of the confidence interval step by step. And if you'll notice, all of the information is presented in small, bite-sized chunks. Not written in complicated language, but in language that you'll be able to understand. But this is MBA level statistics. And we'll show you all of the different Excel formulas that you'll need to solve problems with the confidence interval. And then we'll follow that with a graph to show you exactly what you've created. We walk you through step by step, slowly but surely, solving the problems and then showing the graph that, that you've created problem after problem. If you go through all of these problems, you'll be an expert at solving this kind of these kinds of problems and doing it in Excel. And we show you the graphs. And the graphs are all created in Excel. We'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. And this is the fastest way to climb the statistical learning curve. And everything's explained in simple language. Here's problem five, walking through step by step with all of the Excel formulas slowly and carefully. And at the end of the section, we'll show you the graph that, that was created that resulted from this problem. So you'll fully understand exactly what the problem meant. It's the fastest way to climb the learning curve in statistics. And here's the next section, hypothesis test of means. We walk through each aspect of that. And most importantly, the emphasis is on problem solving. Lots of problems with every different aspect of hypothesis test of means. And we have a four-step method you can apply to every type of hypothesis test. I haven't seen that this four-step method will work, and that's what we use on every problem in this chapter and also walk through the different formulas going through step by step. And each step is followed with the graph to show exactly what was done there. These created in Excel. We walk through the formulas in Excel showing exactly how to do a step. You'll be able to do and solve all problems the first time through it. If you read this manual, you will become an expert in solving hypothesis tests. And hypothesis tests are probably the most useful and maybe the most difficult area of MBA statistics. If you're a marketing manager and you use statistics on your job, you will definitely be doing hypothesis tests. And if you can do it in Excel, you'll You'll have the professional tools that you'll need. You won't need to go out and learn expensive statistical programs like SAS. Excel has it all, and you'll be able to do everything right here in Excel, and I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. And you'll never have to bring your statistical book to work and open it up and look up Z-score charts. You may have forgotten how to do that. You'll never have to do that again. You can leave that stat book at home. If you have Excel and know how to use it, you can do just about anything in statistics. We're looking at the P the p-value test right here, exactly how to do that in statistics, and the chart to show you illustrate what that means. It's just problem after problem. And we don't waste your time on academic exercise, just solving problems. Like here's performing the critical value and p-value test. They give the same information. And here's the third section of this book, hypothesis test of proportions. We use the same four-step method to solve hypothesis test of proportions. The only difference is the formulas are very, very different when you're doing hypothesis tests of proportions and means. And we give you a framework to determine what formulas to use. It's very simple, very complete, and it's a lot less confusing than you probably see in your statistics book. Straight up formulas, we don't waste your time, just step by step how to do it. And here's what you've created. And here are the formulas that you've used to do it. You'll be able to do this the first time through it. Everything's explained in simple language. And these graphs, you'll be able to make those too. And there, for example, is a graph illustrating the p-value test. And you'll fully understand that once you've gone through this manual. It's a simple manual to go through. Nothing is written in complicated language. Very simple, but very clear and complete. This is MBA level statistics. If you want to learn MBA level statistics and be a functional problem solver and do it all, this is the manual that will give you those skills. Step by step, here's step four of that problem we were just looking at, the critical value test. 
and we'll look at the p-value test as well, exactly how to do that in Excel. This, this is just one example. We'll be able to do this. All the different formulas. And here's the fourth section of the book, looking at the different Excel tools that are built into Excel, showing you problems and showing you when to use those, illustrating different kinds of problems so you'll see what, when, which one of the Excel built-in tools can be applied toward it. It's very, very clear, very simple problems, but you'll know exactly how to use those. And we show you, we walk you through step by step with screenshots showing how to do it. Once again, the emphasis here is on solving problems. You'll be a statistical problem solver in Excel. Never need to look in a textbook ever again. And we walk through the outcome. We show you exactly what each of those means. And we show you also some of the tests don't work too well. So here's manual two of the Excel Master Series, very reasonably priced, and you'll be a master of confidence intervals and hypothesis tests and doing everything in Excel. So get it right at the website right here. If you want to learn to graph the manuals, take a look at manual four of the series. In manual four, all of the lessons are presented in streaming video. You're really gonna love it. Just watch the videos right in the manuals. They stream right in there. And each of the videos is about five minutes long. We show you how to graph one of the distributions. This is the first distribution we're graphing, graphing the normal distributions, probability, density, function. And these are excerpts out of the video. We start each video showing the interactivity, how that's reflected in the chart. And then we show step by step how to do it. And th this is right out of that, right out of that video. We're showing excerpts from the video and I'm illustrating what I'm doing. We're showing what's in each cell slowly and carefully and I show you lots of tricks as well like for example right here I'm illustrating how to verify the inputs for each one of your cells a lot of tricks that you might not know about and I'll walk you through you'll be able to create these graphs the very first time that you watch the videos they're very simple to create but I don't know where this information is anywhere else and I'm walking you through step by step showing how to make the graph screenshots this is right out of the video for that particular that particular graph. You don't need to have a lot of statistical knowledge, just a basic working knowledge of Excel. And I will also show you lots of tricks on how to make your graphs very professional looking that you might not known about. Even if you're really good at Excel, you'll learn a lot of things in this video. Now I'll show you a lot of things not to do as well. A lot of mistakes that are easy to make. Right here we're making, uh, we're graphing the outer 2% tails of the normal distribution function if you ever had to do that. There's a lot of tricks involved to doing that. I'll show you exactly how to do it. You'll be able to make these videos. They're all interactive, just varying the parameters. And right here's a very interesting uh, distribution, the chi-square distribution. By varying the parameters, uh, the one parameter in that distribution, the, the degrees of freedom, when you increase that, the distribution resembles a wave rolling from left to right. And it's a very complicated distribution. The formulas that have to be used to create that graph are complicated. It's not, they're not built into Excel, and I had to derive that, and I'll show you exactly what's in each one of the cells. It's a complicated formula, but you'll be able to make the graph if you read the, you follow the video and uh, watch what I'm doing. You'll be able to do it. And here's the t-distribution. It has three different parameters, and this is the beginning. of Each one of the uh, videos starts like this. We're varying the inputs and watching the uh, interactivity reflected in the graph, and right here I'm, I'm once again showing how to verify the inputs. It's something you definitely need to know how to do when you're making graphs. The binomial distribution varying the two parameters, the number of trials and the probability of success in each trial and watching the distribution curve move around the screen. And you'll be able to create this the very first time that you do that. You don't need expensive software to be able to do this, just the basic knowledge of Excel. And here's the F distribution. The F distribution involves a lot of ANOVA, and Excel is an excellent ANOVA function. I go through it and I show you exactly how to do it and what the output means. We use, I use a lot of color coding and I go through the output so you'll fully understand why the answer is correct, what it means, and uh, how we got there. So here's the graphic manual of the Excel Master Series. If you purchase this manual and go through all the exercises, you'll be able to make those graphs just as you saw right on the screen. It's very reasonably priced. Thank you very much.